now let us see about removal of null productions null production can also be called as epsilon production in simplification of context free grammar cfg uh, here we can say that uh, if a production is of the form a implies epsilon then we can say that it is null production or epsilon production now here our target is we want to eliminate null production or epsilon production so totally we have two examples are there let us solve those two examples let us see the first example yes implies x by x x implies 0x or epsilon y implies 1y or epsilon so here first we have to identify null productions identify null productions null production can also be called as epsilon production so first production doesn't contain epsilon second production contain epsilon x produces 0x or epsilon so here we have one epsilon production and in the last production also we have one epsilon so y implies epsilon so totally we have two null productions so here our target is we have to eliminate these two productions from the grammar so for that purpose what we have to do is first let us eliminate uh, uh, x implies epsilon so to eliminate x implies epsilon replace each occurrence of x with epsilon replace each occurrence of x with epsilon so we have to search in the right hand side so if we have x in the right hand side then in place of x we have to substitute epsilon so let us see so what is the first production s implies x by x let us write the productions as it is first so s implies x by x next in place of x we have to replace epsilon so in place of this x if we substitute epsilon then epsilon into by x that is nothing but by x or in place of this x also we can substitute the epsilon then x by into epsilon is nothing but x by or in place of both these x's we can substitute epsilon then epsilon into y into epsilon is nothing but epsilon uh, i'm sorry epsilon into y into epsilon is nothing but y so these are the productions now let us see the second production x produces 0x let us write this production as it is x produces 0x or or by x x by x by x x by y okay now in place of this x we have to substitute epsilon then 0 into epsilon is nothing but 0 and what is the another production y implies 1 by r epsilon so now we have eliminated x implies epsilon from the grammar now our target is we have to eliminate this y implies epsilon also let us see how we can do, do that okay so now what is our target let us eliminate epsilon here so let us eliminate epsilon here so to eliminate y implies epsilon what we have to do we have to replace each occurrence of y with epsilon okay we have to search where y is there in the right hand side in the right hand side each occurrence of y is replaced with epsilon so first let us write all these productions as it is S produces <coughs> x by x or y x or x y or y. Now in place of y substitute epsilon. x into epsilon into x is nothing but x x. Next if we substitute epsilon here then epsilon into x is nothing but x. If we substitute epsilon here x into epsilon is nothing but x but x is already written next in place of y we have to substitute epsilon so let us write epsilon <coughs> next one here we don't have any y production so let us write the production as it is next y implies let us write 1 by as it is next 
in place of y we have to substitute epsilon then 1 into epsilon is nothing but 1 so y produces 1 by r 1 so if we observe the grammar here here we don't have any epsilon here we don't have any epsilon here but here we have epsilon here s produces c but in the right hand side we don't have yes so that's why in place of yes it is not possible to replace with x so that's why it is better to eliminate this epsilon so these are the productions after eliminating epsilon from the grammar so epsilon is removed in the x production epsilon is removed in the y production now let us see the second example a produces 0 b1 r1 b1 b produces 0 b r1 b r1 r epsilon so first we have to identify the epsilon productions here we have only one epsilon production that is B implies epsilon. Now, in order to eliminate B implies epsilon, we have to search where B is there in the right hand side and replace each occurrence of B with epsilon. So, A implies, let us write the productions of A as it is first, 1 B1. Now, in place of this B, substitute epsilon. So, 0, 1. In place of B, substitute epsilon, 1, 1. Okay. Next, B implies let us write the productions of B as it is. Next, in place of B, substitute epsilon 0. In place of B, substitute epsilon 1. Okay. So, these are the productions after eliminating uh, epsilon or null productions from the grammar. So, in this way, we can solve any problem based on removal of null productions or epsilon productions.